Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a disease that affects the central nerve system. This is the brain and the spinal cord. It is an inflammatory disorder in which the immune cells enter the central nerve system and attack the myelin that covers the neurons. Early signs of MS include numbness, tingling, difficulty walking, fatigue, visual problems, urinary incontinence, sensations of electrical shocks through their back and arms, and pain. In this video, I will explain what kinds of pain people with MS may have and how to treat them. So let's talk about MS and pain today. Before I continue, please remember that this video is for educational purposes only. If you have a medical condition causing chronic pain, talk to your doctor. And if there is an emergency, go to the nearest emergency department or call an ambulance. Fortunately, not everybody with MS will have pain. But the studies suggest that more than 50% of people with MS will have pain at some point of the course of their disease. And there are different types of pain that can affect people with MS. Some of them are related to the damage caused by MS, but other kinds of pain are the same as everybody else when people have pain without MS, like mechanical back pain, fibromyalgia, and arthritis. Here is a summary of the types of pain that people with MS may have. In the acute phases of the disease, when the immune cells are causing the disruption in the myelin, the person may have optic neuritis. This is a kind of pain with movement of the eye. Trigeminal neuralgia is a pain in a nerve of the face, the trigeminal nerve. It's known as tic doloro. It's pain when the person opens and closes their mouth or tap on the side of their face. There meets phenomenon, which are like spontaneous electrical shock sensations in the spine, arms or legs, also come with muscle spasms. Painful tonic spasms. This is a typical MS hug that people refer. The muscles of the trunk will go into a spasm. It's brief and may occur various times of the day. It can also affect the whole leg or the whole arm and it can last a couple of minutes. These are precipitated by movement. If the loss of myelin occur in the sensory pathways, the person may also have tingling, numbness, pins and needles, stabbing pain and burning pain. This is called neuropathic pain. If the loss of myelin occurs in the motor pathways that controls the muscles, then the person may also have paralysis, weakness or increased rigidity of the muscles, we call this spasticity. When the muscles have spasticity, they may hurt and the treatment is to reduce the spasticity. Other types of pain that may affect people with MS are conditions that affect anyone else. However, it seems that people with MS have a higher incidence of these other painful conditions than a person without MS. These conditions are Headaches, they may be more frequent in people who have relapsing MS. Migraines, back pain. Back pain is usually due to a lack of physical activity, weight gain, scoliosis or wheelchair use. Fibromyalgia, myofascial pain syndrome, stress-related pain or emotional, emotion-induced pain. Of course, the person with MS will have a lot of stress. And we treat pain in MS the same way that we treat any other type of chronic pain. The first step is to diagnose what kind of pain the person has. Is it nociceptive, neuropathic, or nociplastic? I have another video that I explain the difference between these three types of pain. But here, to summarize, nociceptive pain is pain that occurs when the pain system is functioning well and it is there to detect that there is an intruder or injury to our bodies. This could be a fracture, a burn, a cut, or an acute inflammation like appendicitis or tonsillitis. 
This would be similar to an alarm of a house where there is a fire and the alarm goes off to alert that there is a need to call the fire truck. Neuropathic pain is pain that occurs when the pain system is affected. It's like when the alarm system of the house is malfunctioning, like there is a malfunctioning wire or a sensor that is broken, then we need to fix the alarm system or the pain system. This is exactly the case of MS. MS is a condition that affects the nervous system. The third type of pain is nociplastic pain. This is the typical mechanism for chronic pain. After the nociceptive or neuropathic pain have been resolved, the injury has been healed or the myelin has been repaired, the pain system had been sensitized and now there is no more injury or lesion, but there is a memory of the pain in the brain and the person keeps feeling pain even after many years that the original injury has healed. So we need to retrain the pain system to get rid of those past memories of pain. An example of nociplastic pain is fibromyalgia. And of course, there are people who have a mix of all these three types of pains. We need to remember the toolbox of 5M to treat pain. Mind, movement, modalities, manual and medications. So let's talk about how we treat each kind of pain with this 5M tools in our toolbox. Nociceptive pain. People with MS may have pain from inflammation, arthritis, myofascial trigger points, or tendinitis, for example. The treatment for nociceptive pain involves mind-body therapies to relieve muscle tension and anxiety, movement, for arthritis, remember the laws, exercise, lubrication, aerobics, weight-bearing, and stretch-strengthening exercise. For myofascial pain, remember the SSAR exercises, stretching, strengthening, aerobics, and relaxation. Modalities, you may use heat or cold for arthritis, TENS for tendinitis and muscle pain, acupuncture, taping, etc. Manual therapies, you may try massage, manipulations, and mobilizations. Those are especially useful for neck and lower back pain. Medications, if necessary, you may use acetaminophen or anti-inflammatories. You probably don't need opioids for nociceptive pain. People with MS may have neuropathic pain and that's very common because MS is a disease of the nervous system and affects the brain and spinal cord. For neuropathic pain, the main treatment involves mind-body therapies, Using techniques that relax our body and mind will help the person not to panic and be fearful of the pain. Medications. The types of medications are antidepressants, anticonvulsants, opioids, lidocaine, ketamine, and cannabinoids. I have another video in that I talk about the antidepressant amitriptyline, another one for duloxetine, and I also have other videos about anticonvulsants gabapentin, and pregabalin. These medications are helpful because they act in the neurotransmitters inside the central nerve system. They do have side effects and the most common is sedation, which may be a problem for people with MS who are already affected by fatigue. There is some evidence that medications containing THC are effective to reduce neuropathic pain in MS. And watch my other video about cannabinoids for pain. I don't recommend the person to smoke cannabis as this would bring too many toxins to their lungs and could cause more harm. If they want to try cannabis, I recommend oral medications containing a mix of THC and CBD. People with MS may have nociplastic pain. This is because the pain system has been sensitized by the other types of pains and is now malfunctioning. For nociplastic pain, we need to introduce the following treatments. Mind-body therapies. Pain is not just a sensation of the body. Pain is a sensation that is interpreted by our emotions and thinking. If our thinking is pessimistic, then we tend to feel more pain than when our thinking is more optimistic. So talking to a counselor, mental health specialist, psychologist or psychiatrist 
can help the person to analyze how they are interpreting their pain. Many times we tend to make it worse than it is. And it's help, very helpful to learn techniques, how to think differently about pain. Some of these strategies involve meditation, mindfulness, relaxation, distraction, biofeedback, cognitive behavior therapies, acceptance and commitment therapy, or brain retraining techniques. Watch my other video that I explain various types of mind-body therapies. Movement is very important to retrain the pain system. I usually recommend aqua therapy or hydrogenastics. Modalities. Modalities are not very helpful to treat nociplastic pain. And manual therapies are also not indicated to treat nociplastic pain. Medications. We don't have medications to retrain the pain system. But in some cases, we use antidepressants and anticonvulsants because they increase the neurotransmitters that are reduced or affected in people with chronic nociplastic pain. But medication is not the first choice. If the person is using opioids, we tend to reduce the dose and stop opioids because opioid can aggravate pain and lead to opioid-induced hyperalgesia. And watch my other video that I explain what is OIH or opioid-induced hyperalgesia. And last, for all types of pain in people with MS, there are other measures that help them to regain quality of life. These include nutritional support. Diet is very important to people who have MS. I recommend them to talk to a dietitian or a nutritionist to get all vitamins, elements, and nutrients that they need. Maintain a healthy weight. Avoid underweight or overweight. Exposure to sunlight is good to keep a good production of vitamin D, but also sun exposure during the day helps the person to sleep better at night. And going outdoors, keeping in touch with nature and fresh air is an excellent type of mindful therapy. I have another video that I show the benefits of walking outdoors. Sleep hygiene. A person with MS will feel fatigue during the day and insomnia during the night. It is really important that they avoid caffeine before bedtime. The room they sleep is dark, cold temperature, and without, with low noise. It is recommended to keep a routine of what time they go to bed and what time they get up from bed. And watch, I have another video that I give many tips to improve sleep efficiency. Quit smoking. This includes tobacco and cannabis. Practice meditation regularly. This is important not only for pain, but for their general quality of life. Because MS can be a stressful diagnosis, the person may, view, may feel overwhelmed with a lot of information and new routines. It is important to take time to look inwardly and pay attention to the things that are important. Keep working, studying, and socializing. Continue attending religious activities, volunteering, and helping other people. This will help people with MS to keep focus on their life goals, their dreams, their role as a person in their families, society, and to fulfill their purpose in life. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up here and subscribe to this channel. I post videos about diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of chronic pain. Watch my next video here. Goodbye.